Welcome to another episode of In the Kitchen with the Greater Fort Lauderdale Food and Wine Festival. I'm your host, Rory, and today we're at Lona Casina. That's right, we're here at Lona Casina with Chef George Gutierrez. George, Hi, how are you? thank you for having us. We're, we're glad to be here. You're gonna walk us through how to make some guacamole and then tostada. some some tuna. Yeah, tuna tostada. Tuna tostada. Sure, tuna tostada. Um, I told you when we got here that we really wanted to get dirty, so you're gonna have me make the guacamole, and this is actually table side, correct? Exactly. Awesome. And, uh, it's gonna be your responsibility. We're gonna make it for us. I'm I responsible hope. for serving your guests tonight. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's do it. Um, we do know that that you guys are part of the Safe and Clean Pledge from the from Fort Lauderdale, Broward County. Can you tell me a little bit more about what that pledge means while I throw on some gloves? Well, for sure, you can start using um, gloves. And uh, well, like you say, we are uh, trying to get the people safe here in this place. So we have all the regulations that Broward um, in, in, the, in the city is uh, requesting us. Like for example, in the kitchen, everybody has masks. Everybody are using gloves. We are uh, washing hands every time. Product is not like uh, I don't know, like a couple months ago of, uh, before of this. Now every product when it's coming for the truck, we put it and we disinfect it before to put it inside the walk-in or the or the camera, you know. So things like that, we are working very hard. It's, it's a little bit like uh, hard for the staff, but we are doing very well. You know, so right now I think everybody's comfortable. Now. So you guys are going above and beyond to ensure that your guests who enjoy this great view of Fort Lauderdale Beach are, are safe and enjoying the food, right? Yeah, 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 sure. sure. All right, awesome. So we're, we're glad that everybody's safe and I've got my gloves on, so I've never made guacamole in my life. Can you just teach me what I'm doing? Well, I promise you I'm gonna screw it up, but it's okay. <laughs> no, no, actually it's gonna be very, um, I like basics. Basics. Basics Basic. is good for yeah. me. So <laughs> we need to trust in the in the product. You know, if you have a very good quality avocado, you don't need to do too much, too fancy, to you know, like uh, a lot of ingredients. So we're keeping it simple. Yeah, keeping it simple. So what are the ingredients we that we're using today? So now we want to use just lime, salt, a good avocado quality. You can see the texture is is a point. It's ready. It's not like hard, and it's not like too chewy too. So the fact that I can squeeze it while it's whole, exactly. it's not too difficult. Exactly. So I'm assuming I just start from the edge yeah. and work my way in. That was super simple. Mm-hmm. Yep. So you how many do you want me to do? All probably of them? let's do three. Three? Four. All right. Four pieces. Four pieces. Mm -hmm. It's one of the most popular. I think uh, probably like uh, regular days, probably like 80, 80 she to make, 90. You make 80 to 90 of these in a day? Regular days, but a weekend, we can probably do 150 in one night. I'm really bad at this, as you can see. It's not. No, you can do it, don't <laughs> worry. Just yeah, put, put it like that. So if I came with a f six people, let's mm -hmm. say, is that good for six people? No, it's gonna be probably like for three people. For three people, yeah. because it's that good and everybody just wants to yeah, eat Yeah, but remember, you have another appetizers too, so the idea here is when we recommend a guacamole, we recommend another appetizer too, so you can have in the middle of a table something, uh, many items to, to share, you know? And okay. Guacamole is an option, you know? so we have chips and salsa too. I like chips and salsa. Salsa here is very good. It's one of my favorites. So stop, uh, we can start uh, mash it. So I'm going to take a fork and I'm just going to mash exactly, this. Exactly, exactly. And what consistency are we looking to get this at? It depends. Many people like very like um, uh, like, like like hard. Like to see uh, to feel the chunky pieces. Okay. Other people like blended. Regular in Mexico, we eat it like mashed potato, something like that. So, so you, you eat can, it like a mashed potato? Exactly. So add uh, salt. Now you can add salt. So I'm done, and I'm like, done mashing yeah. it. All this right. is the regular that we do in Mexico. This is regular that, that, Are you from Mexico? Because, I'm from Mexico. Where in Mexico are you from? Ba Baja California. Baja yeah. California. California. Okay. It's close to the border in uh, San Diego, California. Okay. And then you lime. say next we're going to throw some salt in? Salt and lime. And how much salt do we throw in? Uh, 
Just I, depends. I would like to go yeah, like that, and let's see how it is. <laughs> All right. And then some lime. Go only two pieces. So I'm going to squeeze one piece. Another. All right. So you can do it. Check it out. So now let's, we're going to mix it up. Yeah, let's taste it. You are the professional, so I'm going to have you taste it. <laughs> and tell me how bad I did. Or tell me that I'm hired. <laughs> Let's see. We can taste it together. We can I'm taste gonna, it together. I'm gonna, tell you, I'm gonna be honest with you. I hope so. I would like a little bit more salt. But you can taste the quality of the avocado, you know? It tastes delicious. It's creamy. And it's not like um, hard to eat it. And it was super easy to make, so I can yeah. make it at home, but it's better if I come here. <laughs> For sure. No, and also <laughs> we have, I mean, it's basic what we do with this uh, avocado. We made basic guacamole, but we have an accompaniment. So you can add chicharron, uh, that is uh, uh, pork, bacon, or also we have another guacamole with crab. With crab? With crab, okay. fresh crab. So I recommend crab because it's really fresh. Well, yeah, you just had me go out in the morning and grab crab out the ocean and come back and you, hand it to you. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. I can awesome. cook it for you. So then a little bit pico de gallo. Pico de gallo, throw it on top. On top. Then garnish. What are we garnishing this with? Exactly, cilantro. Cilantro. And it's ready. And it's ready. Yeah, something easy. So this is, this is a great appetizer to have. Exactly. But the thing here, what we, we, uh, why this guacamole is very good and people so popular, is because we take care about the product. We always try to have product uh, fresh and also in point. You know? So how do you in focus on getting fresh product? Well, it's hard sometimes because it's about season. Not all the companies have a very good avocado, like for example in December. But right now, fortunately, how, how we have a lot of contacts that people like this restaurant, we, uh, we, we make some calls on our produce companies and they try to take care of us. Okay. So you have a good relationship with your partners that are yeah, sourcing your yeah. food? Yeah. All right, awesome, fantastic. So that was our, our table side guacamole. And now I can also throw this on top of a taco, and kind of mix and match a little bit. Nachos, you can add it to, like you say, for your tacos. You can make a tostada too. Okay. Uh, I don't know, it's a lot of things that you can do. We are also, uh, I saw some drinks with avocado too. Well, I was just gonna say, I feel like everything tastes really good with Patron. Yeah, yes. I yes. am a Patron drinker. Oh, really? <laughs> really nice. I like a tequila Patron too. Well, you guys are a tequileria. How many tequilas do you guys have in stock? Do you know? Well, the last time when I when we called and I remember, it was a couple months ago before of this, we have like 150 something like that. We have okay. some, some special sponsors that helped us put this together. So we'll be right back after these notes. Welcome back to In the Kitchen with the Greater Fort Lauderdale Food and Wine Festival. We're back at Lona Costita with Chef George Gutierrez. George, thank you so much for having us. You're welcome. We just made a fantastic guacamole, and I told you a fun fact during our break, that that was my first time ever in 32 years of ever tasting guacamole, and it was delicious. So I'll probably come back, or sure. after we're done sure. here, order myself some. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited to make it. Uh, a fun fact about, about the restaurant is you guys are part of the Dine Out Lauderdale menu, or the Dine mm -hmm. Out Lauderdale Spectacular, I should say. Mm -hmm. um, our next dish that we're going to make is part of that, correct? Well, yeah, this is one of the favorites, and we like to include it in the menu just because people like it a lot. You know? So this is something that you're going to get if you, if you come and take the, for, um, 
dine out lottery menu. Okay. Tuna tostada. A it's tuna very, tostada. It's very basic, it's simple. But again, tuna is fresh. Every day we try to get it uh, very fresh a tuna. Well, you called me this morning and told me to go out to the, go I, out and I start was, fishing. I was I also fishing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was fishing. Awesome. Okay, so we start with a tostada. What is a tostada? Tostada is some uh, corn tortilla. We call tostada a uh, corn that is to fry and is crispy. You know what I mean? In Mexico, you can have a lot of tostadas with a lot of things like pork tostada, beef tostada. Uh, but the thing and the point of the tostada, it should be a tortilla crispy. Okay. So you have your tortilla, your corn tortilla, and it's not crispy, it's not a tostada. It's, it's probably a taco. So forgive my ignorance, what is the difference between this and a hard shell taco? Shell. It's a very good question because people conf is confused a little bit about the shell taco and the tostada. It's gonna it's, it's gonna probably taste the same. Okay. Exactly the same, but in different way. You know, like it's uh, like. Uh, so one is folded and one is flat. Exactly. Okay. But the good, the the interesting thing is in Mexico we don't have shell tacos. You know what I mean? We have. For sure, crispy tacos, but not that way. It's more like this. Exactly. Okay. But right. also, are so good. I'm fan of the shell tacos. So we're starting with our tostada. Exactly. Okay. So we want to add uh, chipotle aioli. This is a basic uh, aioli. It's onion, uh, I mean garlic, olive oil, and chipotle pepper. And is this made in house? We made it in house. It's a special recipe that we have. It's not too spicy, but the flavor of the chipotle is like kind of sweet, so it's tasty, very good. This is uh, soy, soy sauce, ginger, and a little bit jalapeno blended inside. So you're adding a little bit more spice exactly. compared to the exactly. aioli that you just put on. Uh, it's not going to be too spicy. Honestly, the spicy, the spicy touch is going to be here in the serrano pepper. But we add it at the end because there's many people that don't like spicy, so they can remove it. What did we just add here? Sesame seeds. The sesame seeds. The sesame seeds. It's going to give you this kind of uh, toast, Asian toast. So we have our tostada, mm -hmm. our special aioli sauce made in-house. Exactly, and the, also the ponzu that we are using with soy sauce, we made it here in, in, in whole. So the soy sauce is also made in-house. Exactly. And then we're using fresh tuna that you had me catch this morning. At, that we've, at, at four in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> that we've doused in soy sauce, added some sesame seed. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then the crispy toast, another crispy toast, Leeks, deep fried leeks. And what is the best way to eat this dish? Tuna tostada. With a fork, do you just pick up the whole thing and shove it in? Uh, What's the best way do you eat it? Look, I really like, I recommend if you are at home, don't use silver. <laughs> okay. You know? But if you are here, I think you can probably broken and just start working with it with a fork. Honestly, I don't care, I take it. <laughs> you just dive yeah, right yeah, in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like it. I told you I, I don't eat guacamole. That was my first time eating it. This will also be my first time eating tuna. I'm not a fish person. Oh, really? So I'm going to do this for you because you've hosted us Thank here you. today. Thank you. I appreciate All right? it. So, and I'm going to do it the way that you said that you would do it at home. Just yeah. pick it up and take a bite. That's fine. That's fine. It's very good. I like it. So I appreciate that you made that for me. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate you taste it. You are not of a <laughs> Chef, you, you've made me taste guacamole. You've made me taste tuna. The, the team behind the scenes laughs at me because I eat like a 12-year-old. <laughs> I like chicken nuggets. I won't lie. <laughs> chicken nuggets and Patron would be my dinner. Nice. <laughs> but this was really good. I'm excited that I was here to, to eat it. I appreciate that you're showing us your Dine Out Lauderdale menu. I appreciate that you're showing us the clean and safe pledge that you guys have taken to ensure that your guests are safe and, and they're, they're, they're comfortable while they're here. Um, is there any last words that you want to give to the, to the guests that might be watching today? Well, 
just uh, let her know we are waiting for you guys. Uh, uh, we're still working. And thank you for coming. Awesome. Thank you, Chef. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with the Greater Fort Lauderdale Food and Wine Festival here at Lono Cocina on Fort Lauderdale Beach, presented by Visit Lauderdale. Thanks for joining us.